Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we are opening the box that I have been dying for since I, since I, for a while, like maybe close to a year. Um, but just holding off because I wanted to wait and do it on a channel. So I have never had this box before, just like all the other ones you've already seen me do. Um, this one's completely new. Um, although this one I'm super excited about and pretty sure I won't be disappointed. Um, so it is Nine of Earth. Yay! All right, so um, because I'm usually such a klutz trying to open these, um, I have cheated a little bit and broke the seal, but I have not opened it. It's just, you know, I've noticed that I struggle to, to cut it open. <laughs> so here we go. Um, so my look is the first for me as it is for you. Okay, so this is September 2022. Cool. Um, of course, you know, I'll need my glasses. And this is really pretty. I love the black and white. Um, and of course, on the back side, it says a witchy life. Um, and, and then it explains everything in it. My, there's a lot of stuff. I actually didn't. So I've, there's, I've, I actually didn't realize how much was in here. Um, so let me clarify that I have seen one unboxing of nine of, no, a long time ago when I first, six months, eight months ago, maybe maybe. I had seen an unboxing because I was just going through unboxings of witchy stuff and I saw one and I was like blown away, right? And then about six weeks ago, I watched one, I think it was the June or July unboxing. And I'm like, yes, I absolutely need to do this. Um, and so when there was a pre-order, and so I kind of like got on their mailing list, but I hadn't subscribed yet. So when um, there was a pre-order for October, that's when I signed up, um, and then I got a hold of uh, I got a hold of them, and I said I also not only do I want to start so it would have started in October because I signed up like I think it was still back it was still back in um, I'm looking at my calendar um, no it was set probably September early September I signed up um, maybe no early September um, anyway the plan was to just get um, start my subscription in October, but then I saw like a preview of what the or of what the cards were going to be, and I'm like, okay, send me the send me the September box. So I know what the cards are going to be, and I've always wanted these cards, um, but I don't know anything else in it um, because I refuse to look at those little emails and other um, that they send with like a sneak peek, and then I also refuse to watch anybody else's YouTube videos. So all right, so but I I guess. My point was, um, I don't, I guess I didn't realize real quick how much stuff is in there. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, me and my glasses. Um, oh, it's a dish towel. And I, of course, I mean, you guys haven't met my, my kitty named Sabo. I have a little black kitty named Sabo. Um, this is a heck, there's two of them. Um, this is a heck of a, uh, they're thick. They're really thick. Good quality, good quality. So the first one is, oh my God, I love it so much. Am I ever going to use this as a dish towel? Probably not because it's too cute. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at that. If I stop moving it around, maybe it'll focus. I'm so sorry. I got all excited. Focus. I know it focuses. Okay, focus on me. There we go. Sorry about that. The potion bottles, the kitties, the moths, the eye, the hand, the cards, scissors, out oh, the keys, oh, the leaves, the snake. Oh, I just, I just love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love the colors. 
<clears throat> and then the second one is just a very nice Halloween orange and um, it's like a black brown but super amazing quality Shh. Okay, so we'll peek inside so so I can see we have some incense um, I can't place it but it's very earthy I, I, I know I'll like it it's not overly perfumey it's not perfumey it, it smells pretty natural like it doesn't smell like there's anything fake or you know anything like that fuzzies I don't know what else to call them fuzzies take the fuzzies out maybe I should stop looking huh okay I'm just going with next thing in my hand can you hear that Um, earrings. I love earrings and I'm actually currently not wearing any, which is really rare. I very seldom wear posts, posts, earrings, but these are how light and they're really pretty. So let's just try them on, shall we? Howlite, huh? You know, I don't have any jewelry made out of Howlite. At least that's what I'm going with it is, what what it is. It could be a white turquoise. It could be like, um, and I'm going to get the name wrong, but it's like white buffalo or white horse or um, there is a white turquoise. I think there might even be two and... Um, my daughter and one of my daughter-in-laws will knows her turquoise inside and out. Oh my God, I should have her on here. She could talk about turquoise for like probably a solid hour. I love that about her. I love so many things about her. Okay, which side's better? This side's better. You know, they're big enough. You can see them. And I, I you know, it's been maybe a couple decades since I've worn posts. I kind of like them. I like them. Nice. Okay. Next item, a couple pieces of Palo Santo. You can never have too much Palo Santo. Mm, I love Palo Santo. It reminds me of when I used to work in Sedona as a psychic. Oh, one of the best times of my life. Next, a bath bomb called Catalyst. Looks like a crystal, and I'm betting that's a real crystal on the top. Made with love, magic, made with love magicfairycandles.com well we're gonna have to go there aren't we all right the unfolding catalyst bath bombs ingredients organic shea butter organic cotton oil co coconut oil non-gmo cornstarch citric acid sodium bicarbonate dead sea salt organic botanicals organic essential oils grapefruit cedar geranium encasing a crystal charged under the full moon yes there is a real crystal in there I can't really smell it through the packaging, but um, maybe a little bit. Better is that the incense? Nope, it's this. Just like oh, it does. I don't want to. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There's no opening in it. A little bit. Dang it. Mm. Boy, it is wrapped in there good. Unfortunately, kind of destroying it. And it's wrapped in plastic inside of that. Good packaging. Approved packaging. Um, yeah, I tore the paper off, and it's still wrapped in plastic underneath. So excellent packaging. Um, can't quite smell it, but it looks beautiful, and I can't wait to use it. And I love that it's organic um, ingredients because my body is crazy sensitive. Shocker, right? I'm an intuitive. I'm super sense. I'm a highly sensitive person. I'm an empath. I'm a psychic, right? So shocker that my and I have lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and Renauds and you know, shocker that my skin is sensitive too, right? Not right. So so far, super super excited. Super um, dish towels, 
Um, I gotta reset that. Dish towels, uh, bath bomb, earrings, and incense. Okay, let's stop looking again. Okay. Ooh, heavy. I'm guessing it's a crystal. Rough crystal. Really well packaged. You know, my eyesight's not that bad, but um, maybe it's just it's just getting worse. Um, it's a big piece. And it's in this bag. Pretty darn good. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's, I want to say it's some sort of druzy, like, limey. It's kind of a limey color. Druzy is, is obviously um, coarse of some sort, but very pretty. Not a huge fan of the size, the shape, but that's okay. It's the energy. Now, as far as energy goes, let's see here. What do we have on energy? Glasses for you. What am I feeling in the energy in this? Really good energy. Happy, happy energy. A little grounding. Uplifting. I know grounding and uplifting are kind of like, you know, opposites, but it you know what I mean, right? It's like it's that happy, uplifting, um, I know because it's kind of the slime green, so the heart chakra is green, but everybody always thinks of the heart as like red or pink or something like that, which it can be pink. The heart chakra can be pink, but, you know, green. So I do feel like a heart opening sensation holding this close to me. It's very nice. I really like it. I might sleep with this by my bed tonight. Yeah, I love it. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to go to this big one because... I, yeah, so this big one, again with the glasses. What is this? It's like a little dish. So number one, it says dishwasher and microwave safe. But look at that heart. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a little dish. You could probably use it in your kitchen or your bathroom. But honestly, I feel like I'm going to put jewelry in it by the side of my bed because this is more the colors of my bedroom. And I love the heart flame there. So um, I don't really have a place to put jewelry by the side of my bed. Um, so I, I think I might put it there. God, I Feels like really good quality. I love that it's dishwasher and microwavable safe. So yeah, you could absolutely use it in the kitchen. Or bathroom. Beautiful. A beautiful, great quality. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, that's not what I expected. Oh, sweet grass. You know, I used to get sweet grass all the time when I lived in Sedona. There was this great store shop on the top of the hill um, in uh, East Sedona and boy I cannot remember the name of that place it had a lot of Native American jewelry a lot of Native American items it was a great place why can't I remember um, I had a roommate for a couple months she used to work there it was a great place but I used to buy sweet grass there hmm yep reminds me of Sedona oh, god I miss that place I should go back and visit I'm afraid to go back and visit I've been gone like eight years right so um, I'm afraid so much has changed. Um, I've changed, you know. When I was a working psychic in Sedona, I was very, like, in the mystical, and I was kind of, not kind of, I was told to hide my witchy side and just be mystic, you know, and psychic, and don't let the clientele know that you're a witch. And actually, it wasn't actually even really said, but I knew for a fact from the owner and the manager that it was like, do not let that witchy side out. Like dre dress in like light colors and bright colors and lots of pretty sparkly stuff and do not wear all black all the time. Like absolutely do not. So that was a sign, but anyway, so maybe now that I'm more me, more authentically me, I am a hundred percent more authentically me and not trying to hold down a job in Sedona full time. Maybe I could go back cause it's sure Makes me want to go back. Spring would be a good time to go back. Okay. Oh, there's another little thing. 
another little little thing. What is it? I don't have my glasses on, so manifesting aromatherapy he inhaler. Ah, got to read this. Um, manifesting is by Wild. Yeah, too small for me to read. Manifesting aromatherapy healer. Ingredients, cedarwood, clary sage, bergamot, lemon, chamomile, pure essential oils. Instructions, open the cap, inhale, repeat as needed for desired results. Well, let's just open this sucker up. Oh, huh. I guess it's got one of those little peel things that opens really nicely, you know, except for I'm a klutz and I failed to open it all the way, of course. Okay, so, oh, it's a screw top. It doesn't pop up. Okay, screw top. And it's just like a little, has little holes at the bottom, a little hole at the top. Okay, wow, that's intense. And what is this box? It reminds me of Sedona. This reminds me of the cedar, because there's cedars all over um, that part of Arizona. My God, that smells good. Holy moly, that just puts me in like an awesome mood. Like I just went for a freaking great hike, you know? Awesome. All right, I think, I think the last thing is the cards. Look, yep, just the squigglies in the packaging. Throw the packaging and squigglies back in the box. Kind of OCD neat for even when I'm doing these videos, I like everything has to be organized and. Um, I don't know. How do you guys feel? Like, I've not been cutting out stuff. Um, I've just been, like, posting it, you know, kind of mostly as is, only cutting out the really bad things. Um, so anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. Like, do you like it just, like, all me, all natural, you know, without any super cutting and editing and stuff like that? By the way, if you saw my Rasa review... Um, so this is half regular coffee of mine <clears throat> and half of the, um, happy rasa. And I don't like the fact it smells like, le it tastes like lemon. Yeah, I think it's lemon, which I didn't, ex I don't, I'm not, you know, seen those YouTube videos and stuff where they put orange juice and coffee together. I'm like, what the fucking crack? It's just wrong, wrong. Anatomy of a Witch Oracle, so excited. A little reflection. Discover the full power of your witch body. I have one of these cards. Cards for the Mind, Body, and Spirit by Laura Tempest Zakroft, author of Weave the Liminal. I might have to get that book too. There we go. All right, let's take off this packaging so we can see these babies. Add them to my, oh, add them to my collection. That's one thing about this Night of Earth that I'm really excited is I used to buy a lot of cards all the time. Uh, all the time. Like all the time I used to buy cards. I mean, I used to have a storefront, a metaphysical crystal shop. And so I used to buy cards and very often I'd buy like just two sets of everything and then keep them set for myself. Um, but that was like six, seven years ago because the metaphysical shop only lasted like a year here. The town here is like 2,500. The fact that it lasted a year that I actually made money for a year, I still am very grateful for that. But then I just kind of saturated the market, you know. Um, but then after I gave up the shop and started going back to work full time doing graphic design, um, people would occasionally just like stop by my house or, or they just have a need, right? And because I am who I am, um, I probably had three times as many um, tarot and oracle sets. Most of my tarot is gone. I only have three three tarot. Sorry, I don't know if I now I'm gonna have to. I'm curious what I said. I only have three tarot decks. Uh, the wild. Sorry, I can't remember the name. I don't. Yeah, I only have like three tarot sets. The rest are all oracles because the oracles are really, really what I vibe with. I mean, I feel more connected to the 
to Oracle decks. Tarot to me is kind of like, I love tarot too, don't get me wrong, but you'll also never see me doing a tarot reading on here ever. I mean, I might have a couple of tarot cards in there. I feel like there's enough tarot readers on the internet and in the world that you don't need another one. Um, I know we're all different, but I also just, tarot's good, tarot's great, tarot's amazing, tarot is like orange juice and coffee for me. It's just not me. Is it some for somebody else? Tarot is absolutely for somebody else. Um, but just not for me. So when I saw the preview that this was going to be in the September box, knowing it was the anatomy of a witch oracle, I had to have it. Had to have it. Okay. I'm going to have to put my little glasses on. Um, just out of curiosity, has anybody noticed that I always match my glasses to my what I wear? Have you guys noticed that? Just curious. Okay. Beautiful magnetic opening actually see the magnets I love that I love it when the boxes are so nice um, so and by the way this is pretty big um, this is how big is that oh, that's pretty big six and a half inches tall um, my fingers over it that doesn't work does it yeah that's five inches wide. These are, these are, this is a big box. So we're going to open it. And the beautiful little, I love it when they have the little ribbon um, to pull everything out. And then a book, which uh, it's a solid book, it's matte finish. Um, oh, it does have some color pages. All the, okay. It, the, the, this is very nice. Um, Semi-gloss paper um, in color. So the very beginning of the book is a little bit about the author. Title clay page, disclaimer. I love this. This is nice. Um, contents. An actual contents, which I love. Um, and then more about it, setting about the art, lunar and solar events, senses, mapping your journey, using the deck, a little suggested layout, which of course you don't have to use. The journey begins and then this beautiful entry and two card descriptions. Okay, enough about the book, all right? So here we go, pull the little tab. It is not wrapped in cellophane, but it does have like this cellophane plastic cellophane like little cover that holds them together and the inside of the box um, the back of the card is um, that's not another card that's just the back so printing in the back very solid well made um, definitely a keeper um, back of the cards um, reminds me of a crystal um, but it also has star map on it. There's a moon on it, the sun. Um, that looks a, like Orion. You know, I, I will get better with the lighting so we don't have so much reflection. Figure that out. Um, if anybody has any suggestions about lighting so I don't get reflections on my glasses and reflections on the cards, please let me know. I will accept any suggestions on making this channel better so that you guys enjoy it. All right. Um, so this is, um, I'm not going to read the whole, show you the whole deck, um, but I am just going to intuitively pick a couple cards. We're going to pick this one, pick this one, and no, I know they're not shuffled. We're just doing this to show you. We're going to pick this one. Okay, and this very bottom one because it's staring me in the face and I have to look at it. Okay, which lungs? It's like a little beautiful tree of life, um, but you know the lungs are like the roots. Oh my god! And it's like, oh look at that! It's so beautiful. So we've got flowers and mushrooms over here. I love that. And it's, uh, it doesn't say anything. So we're going to just look in the book.
for which lungs And let's just go to the actual contents, Alita, so we can find this instead of just moseying through. Which lungs? 114. Group. Which anatomy? Description. Clusters of flowers, greenery, and fungi form a pair of lung shapes which, which feed up into the mighty tree. All of the seasons are present in the tree's branches. Yes, they are. How did I not notice that? I noticed the color. Um, consider, with every breath, let's get it straight, Alita. With every breath, you bring the outside world inside of you. With every exhal 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 exhalation, you share molecules of yourself with the world. The witch lungs teach us that everything and everyone is interconnected. However, this connection doesn't mean you yield your personal sovereignty. You're in control of your own domain, your body, and what you put out into the world. I'm not going to finish the rest of the paragraph. I don't know if there's copyright laws or whatever. I don't know. Um, keywords, interconnection, sovereignty, creating space, and then Rx, which I love, healing, of course. The witch lungs share the wisdom of understanding what is in our lives is permeable and shared with the world and what should be protected and kept just for us. Yeah, Alita only needs to learn some of that myself. Okay, this this is now the first one I picked, the very, very first one I picked out. Memory, feather, pearls, bowl, candle, incense burning, and your reflection in a mirror? Or is that your reflection on top of like your reflection in the glass on top of um, somebody's photograph and then a few pictures, a few flowers. Beautiful. Okay, memory. Again, why am I not looking? Just look it up, Alita, look it up. Memory. 68, the year I was born. Group, body being, description, a household shrine sits on a table. Yes, of course, that's a shrine. That makes sense now. A framed photograph presides over an active candle and an incense stick surrounded by an array of mementos. I'm going to do it a little bit this way. Yep. Um, arrangements of flowers, coins, jewelry, coins. That's what those are. I thought maybe they were buttons. Jewelry, an antique bowl, and a raven's feather on lace suggest old stories and connections to those no longer present and perhaps someone who is just out of reach. Uh, and then there's a consider, keywords, honor, remember, reminisce, and Rx. Rx, honoring deceased loved ones and ancestors can be as simple as wearing an item that has been passed down to you or making their favorite dish to share with others. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Second card I picked, dream, uh, a kitty cat on top of a little person on top of a pillow, a little snake, and stars, and, oh, sorry about that. How is it that I have it, my phone blocked, right, to all incoming calls, but that was a junk mail? <laughs> It's like, my kids can't call me, my dad can't call me, my siblings can't call me, but junk mail just came in. I mean, that's life, right? I mean, you got to laugh. I mean, not really. I hate junk mail. I wish that there was actually time when there is junk mail. A little bit about me. I used to work for Cabela's as a graphic designer. And um, I, there was two of us, there's three of us in this little department we had. There was two graphic designers and then our... Yeah, she's kind of a secretary helper, but she also did graphic design as well. But she didn't like have the degrees that we have because the other woman and I had um, actual four year degrees in graphic design and the other woman didn't. She was just had lots of experience. Right. Um, so we called ourselves the junk mail queens because all we did was design 
junk mail for like the six or eight years I worked for Cabela's um, back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, because I was there on 9-11. Well, I wasn't there. I was actually home on my way to work that day. Um, but um, yeah, we did junk mail. I miss, I kind of miss designing junk mail <laughs> in a way, because there's, I miss actually get it in the mail instead of the phone calls, right? Oh, so annoying. Anyway, back to dreaming. Dreaming. Let's see. I must have passed it. They're not in an order that you'd think. Um, they're not alphabetical, so that's why I'm having a hard time looking it up. So definitely use the... Um, contents um, so they must be in where's dream dream page 44 good number okay body group or group body being a figure is curled up and dreaming their inner serpent is at rest within them as they drift into liminal space streaming out from them are stars uh, stars of thoughts or perhaps the stars are communicating communicating back to them as they dream. A feline guardian is also at rest, yet it protects their person. Same junk mail. And I lost my page. Well, it protects their person. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to turn off this phone completely. Turn it off. There we go. I have just learned a very valuable lesson. My phone will be turned off from now on. And my last one, water. I am a fire sign. Very seldom do water and I get together very often. But you know what? I've been getting a lot of water signs lately. That is interesting. Hmm. Well, let's read about water and see why water has been coming towards me more. Um, again, looking in the contents because that's important in this book. Um, 100. Okay, no, let's do this the other way. Water. There you can see it without a little. There we go. Group elements. Total sense. Description. A heart peeks out. Oh my god, that is a heart. I should have looked at it first. A heart peeks out from a moon snail shell with bubbles and wisps surrounding it. Resembling a chambered nautilus navigating its way through the water with its many tentacles. Consider water cleanses. I have been taking a lot of baths lately. Purifies, dissolves, and submerges. Keywords. There's a lot more information. I'm just not reading all of it. Keywords. Aquatic, seaworthy, fluidity. Hmm. Rx, drinking water is a perfect way to finish a ritual or magical working. Hold a cup of fresh water in your hands close to your eyes and take three breaths, focusing on the serpent, the witch heart, and the weaver in turn. Then drink the water, conscious of the taste, and feel it as it enters your body. Water can also be an easy yet effective offering. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, let me just... Oh. Yeah, we're cutting that out. All right, we're back. <laughs> As I knocked over my my um, camera. Um, so I'm just looking over the cards. And they are beautiful. Commune. Beautiful. <gasps> create because you know I'm an artist and I love that and I haven't been painting I need to paint I've been journaling a lot um, oh these are beautiful cards I love these cards now um, as obvious I did read um, a lot of the descriptions for you um, and I will probably go through and read the book as a book, like just read it, um, just to have that in my memory, right? 
Taste is very interesting. I love taste. Look at the honeybee and the lemon and the chili and the mint. I'm guessing salt or sugar. What is that? Is that a tongue? It's a forked tongue. Very interesting. Touch. Great eye on the hand. Nice. Witch bottles, me and my potions, love those. Witch braids, you don't see me wearing braids on here, but I wear braids. Um, I sleep in a braid and I also wear braids most of the day. Um, these are just beautiful cards, I love them, I love them. So anyway, um, festival, festival is great. I mean, if that is truly a festival place yeah a place a place of yes okay so um i'll probably read through the book and when i say read through i may not read it every single word um but i will um read through it get the gist of it but then to be brutally honest i love using oracles in that um i just use them intuitively and i truly like look at the cards and intuitively feel the meanings of them. Oh, I love that. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Well, the Nine of Earth box is $59.99 plus shipping and handling. Um, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Well, to me it was. Um, I don't know how much the, oh, we'll go back to this, because um, this will actually tell us. So a witchy life. So anatomy of a witch oracle, right here. Originally $24.99. Dish towels, $14.99. Actually, I'm surprised they're not a little bit more. The trinket dish, $9.99. Kind of surprised it wasn't a little bit more. Um, the Pyramid Bath Bomb with Quartz, 12-12. The Howlite, yes, Howlite Stud Earrings, 14.99. The Dyed Amethyst Cluster. Oh, I didn't get that it was amethyst at all. Wow. Huh. Okay. Color me surprised. I'm usually better at crystals than that. Unless they're dyed and then I, yeah. Dyed Amethyst Crystal uh, Cluster, 9.99. Palo Santo and Sweetgrass Braids, 4.99. Manifest Aroma Inhaler, $5.99, and Honeysuckle Incense, $1.99. That's why, okay, I used to live in uh, East Texas for four years. Not terribly, well, it was, it was a while ago. Mostly? Wouldn't call it super honeysuckle. Floral, natural. I still love it. It's still going to burn them later. Um, so, um, I'd say it's completely worth it. I love it. And I can't wait to get to October's. Um, and I can't wait to do a reading with you guys on these. And that's it for today. I should probably get back to my graphic design work, make some actual money while I'm building this channel. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I am, I'm super excited that this was a great unboxing. Um, I was not disappointed in anything. I look forward to October and then I look forward to all the months after that. And, um, yeah, blessings and love to y'all. Bye-bye.